welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and uh, exciting little video. So recently at uh, Warfare um, in Red in well actually Farnborough, um, the we bumped into Glenn who was on Plastic Crack podcast from uh, War Bases, um, and he was very keen to show us um, his new venture. So as part of, um, well, I guess because war bases, as he mentioned in uh, Plastic Crack, have their own um, design and um, model manufacturing capability, he started up this sort of branch which is called Black Sheep Miniatures. And um, the first few packs are all um, sort of cowboys, westerners um, kind of figures. And um, he very kindly gave each of us uh, Martin, myself and Ken, a pack of some of the initial uh, figures that he produced um, and said we could um, paint them up and show them off. So um, by the time you see this video, these figures should be uh, available or at least um, uh, he may have publicly announced that they're coming out. Um, either way, um, I thought I'd show you what I pack picked up. So he, he uh, had a number of packs there of uh, different figure types um, and asked, you know, said to us each very kindly, help yourself to one of them. Um, I took the Mexicans because I haven't got anything like this and I thought these were kind of fun. So there's a pack of uh, five. Don't know how much these are going to be. Um, if I know by the time we do this video, I'll put it uh, underneath here. If not, uh, just check out the War Bases website. So there's a guy with a rifle. Like that. Another one. Slightly different pose with a rifle. And Glenn himself uh, designed these. So um, hats off to him. Or sombreros off to him, shall we say. Another bandito with a rifle. Another one heading for cover with rifle. And this one crouched. Imagine, you can sort of imagine him crouched on the roof, ready to pick off one of the lawmen. <laughs> and I love the fact they've all got the uh, ammunition belts hanging around their, um, around their backs and their chests. So I picked up this, this pack of five. I'm going to paint them up and show you what they look like. So I feel like I need some sort of um, musical accompaniment to these, but I won't uh, subject you to my singing. Um, so yeah, um, I kind of got a bit distracted painting these uh, black sheep miniatures. Um, when I looked at these Mexicans, I thought they just reminded me of mariachi bands. So that's what I did. <laughs> so it's an armed gang of um, mariachi um, musicians um, and they were fun to do I have to say I, I did get halfway through thinking oh my god why did I decide to do this because um, getting a, a uniform coat of black is actually surprisingly hard on a figure and then when you start adding in white details and white little things it's just very hard to make them look kind of anything other than just scruffy um, in fact I'm looking at some of them now and thinking eh, I could have done a better job there um, so I've just sort of used white sort of little lines, um, crosses, squiggles, dots, just to sort of denote those sort of um, uh, effects that a mariachi band has on the side of them. The only, the only slight disappointment for turning them truly into mariachi is the only one of the figure, this one here, um, has a, um, a sort of a band that you could do red like they have. Um, but what the heck, they were fun. Um, and they've, they've come out okay, I think. Um, you know, they're not going to win any painting competitions, but then none of my stuff ever does. Um, but it will see the table, and, and that's the aim of the day. There you go. I like this guy. Broody with his big droopy moustache. Same, same with this guy. He's not very happy because he's been chucked across the room. 
Um, again, they're, they're they're nice models. Um, I think they they paint up very nicely, um, and um, they'll be a nice addition. I, I might well pick up another pack. Well, will I? I've got so many. I have so many Western figures now. I'm not sure, in honesty, whether I need any more. But um, these black sheep ones will certainly um, provide another outlet, uh, another option for you if you're looking to build out your um, what seems to be the flavor flavor of the month or flavor of the year Western games. So you got uh, Dead Man's Hand. Oh, what a cowboy! Um, what's there's a couple of other rule sets which just escape me at the moment. But um, um, Western figures definitely are very much flavor of the month and um these from glenn at um blacks uh, black sheep um i think will be a very useful addition to the ranges that are out there and i would certainly recommend picking them up um, as i say he kindly gave me this uh, pack for free so i have to say that as a disclaimer but even if he hadn't i think i would have been tempted to pick these up because they're fun <laughs> they're really fun <laughs> Anyway, there you go. That's uh, a look at the uh, one of the packs of black uh, sheep miniatures coming out. Um, I think uh, by the time you see this video, they should be available on his website. Um, he's got a Facebook page, um, so check that out. And um, I hope you enjoy them. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And uh, let me know uh, in the description or in the uh, comments what you might be looking to buy of these figures because uh, there's quite a nice little range there anyway stay safe stay well see you again soon this is dom signing out